Four examples where we have to calculate the determinant of a matrix. I've showed you in my uh, previous video how we do that, relatively easy. Uh, so try this yourself first, perhaps. Eh? You only have to do this for two by two, eh? of, for matrices of order two by two, eh? for your IGCSE. Uh, so there we go, the first one. So it's going to be three times five, eh? the determinant, three times five minus and that is minus one times minus seven. Okay, so that would be 15 take away and minus one times minus seven is a positive seven. So five, sorry, five, 15 minus seven, the determinant is eight. Okay, that's for the first one. Okay, please do not, by the way, sometimes students uh, confuse the determinant with the discriminant. Yeah, then we're talking about quadratic functions. Yeah, this is the determinant, then we're talking about matrices. All right. Uh, over here, if this would be matrix B, then the determinant would be, I'm going a little bit quicker, yeah, that's the notation, what you can find, that's going to be 24, take away 20, and that is 4, excellent, over here, if that would be matrix C, so the determinant of C is 11, take away, sorry, I say 11, silly me, that is 0, John, take away minus 6, and that is six. Okay, last one, if that is matrix D, then the determinant of D would be A times D, so that's minus 16, take away B times C, minus eight, <coughs> excuse me, I'll go this way, minus 16 plus eight is minus eight, so that would be the solution there. Okay, so the determinant of a matrix AD minus BC, yeah? you multiply those diagonals and you subtract them, yeah? but you're going to start here, take away those two, multiply, all right. Um, the determinant of a matrix is also important if you want to find the inverse of a matrix, okay? And we're going to show you how to do that in the next video, okay? I'll see you there, bye-bye.